<laughs> downside to this brilliant setup is I can't see if anybody's online. <laughs> oh, I can. I'm oh, looking. You can? Okay. Uh, you have zero on Facebook and none on YouTube yet. Okay. We're almost there. We're pretending it's not Leah and Chelsea on Facebook today. That's what's happening here. No, it's Kaif. It's Kaif. Kaif Bassett. Uh, we have one viewer. I'm so excited. I wonder if anybody can guess what we're doing without reading the title. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they can. Can you see comments? I can. Okay. I have two viewers. Okay. Jiggling all of the table, but that's okay. Am I jiggling? No, I'm jiggling the sign in front of my face. No, I'm jiggling the table. Oh, you're leaning jiggling across the it. <laughs> I'm going to do a quick face change. Oh! I think I know what we're doing for Facebook. I think I know, too. <laughs> Actually, I'm 100% sure that I know what we're doing for Facebook today and YouTube Live um, here at my sewing room on October 20th, 2022. At around 4.15 in the afternoon. We bit we started a wee bit early today. Um because Chelsea and I have the cameras ready to go. We sure do. We have something fun to show you. We're pretty excited. Woo! No comments yet. You guys have gotta say hello if you're out there online. Because I'm not gonna start doing what we're doing until I see a comment. Ooh. Ooh. I would like you guys to guess and see what we're up to today. Four viewers? Yeah. I think one of them's from Maryland, if I can guess right. Robin? Wait Maybe don't... Robin's here. Maybe Robin's here. Maybe Sandy's here? Mm, who else might be here? Maybe a Carol? Ooh, maybe a Carol. Maybe. Oh, there's a Michelle. Ooh. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Maybe you know what we're up to today. Well, if you if you tuned in on Tuesday, you might have an idea of what we're up to today. If you didn't tune in on Tuesday, this will be a big surprise. That's okay. We'll fill you in. It's going to be fun. I'm excited. You ready to get going, Chelsea? So what you guys are looking at right now is some of our in-store signage for our uh, K-Facet uh, special edition machines from Bernina. Our first batch arrived today. Super excited. Um, I'm going to take down my beautiful sign and join the video. Maybe I won't take it down completely. Maybe I'll set it over here. It's round. I don't know if it'll stay. We'll try. Hi, Leah here. Um, Chelsea's here. Maybe I'll move that camera for a moment. We'll, I'll show you where Chelsea's hiding. Oh, no, that's oh, not where That's not me. There's Chelsea. Chelsea. Chelsea's here. Um, we are going to be doing an unboxing video for you guys today. Um, we are unboxing the Bernina 770 plus KF facet machine with the bigger package so this is what you'd be getting if you decide you want this machine with embroidery we're going to show you all the things and we're going to start with the embroidery goodies because then you'll see what's involved in that they're so cool i've seen some of the um special embroidery designs that are coming with this collection they're awesome so let's get going <laughs> um okay chelsea which box are you uh, nope that's the wrong camera, that's the wrong camera. So that is a Bernina SDT embroidery module box. So this is Bernina's high speed module for the seven and eight series machines. Um, the module itself isn't coming with any K facet markings, but it's already coming uh, pretty well set up to get you started stitching. So in there, there's a large oval hoop, a medium hoop and a small hoop, as well as uh, some of the extras you always need with embroidery modules like a sample thread, uh, extra needles for embroidery. Uh, uh, 26 foot. Oh, 26 foot. Uh, your hoop clip. template clips and, yeah. and a thread net. And then you get a module to, or a 
machine to computer cord. And the cardboard box in there has a stabilizer sample pack and your templates for each of the hoops. So that's what's hiding in that box. Don't throw it out when you get it home. Very useful information. Not a box filter. No. <laughs> Open all the boxes when you get a machine. There's always things hiding in special places. And then there's that lovely embroidery module for your machine. So there's that's box one. Um, it's a four box setup if you're going to get the full 770 Chris Cafe machine with embroidery. So let's carry on with embroidery goodies. Um, next up is the embroidery luggage. It's heavier than I expected. <laughs> you can tell for me. There's extra stuff packed in that box as far as I know. But I don't know what is packed in this box. So um, I got to see these machines at Bernina University back in July. But they weren't in final packaging. They were like the sample run of machines. And I didn't get to see the beautiful boxes. Like even the boxes are pretty. This is the prettiest cardboard I've seen in a while. Um, pretty excited. That's just a bag. And they can't see you pulling that out, so you're going to have to drop that down a little bit lower. No! Oh, oh, spin it around, it's so pretty! <laughs> so that has beautiful aqua on it, and it's a gray bag. I don't know how well the light is showing up. Color is a little bit weird on my screen. It looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. It is bright and colorful. So if you love bright and colorful and super unique, um, this is a very small production run on the K-Facet machines. So our first batch arrived today. It's about half of what I ordered in total. Um, everything on my first shipment today was either floor model or spoken for. So there's a few more machines coming my way that are not accounted for. Um, first thing coming out of there is Bernina software. That is the V9 creator. You get a carry strap for your embroidery module bag. That is the embroidery bundle gift with purchase. You should open that box, Chelsea. It's heavy. I know. It's so heavy. I'm excited. Ooh. These are special edition K-Facet embroidery designs that are only available um, with machine purchase, with the embroidery module purchase. It kept going. I know. <laughs> oh, it's really exciting. Yeah, nice. um, so that first one, um, actually, if you pass those over to me, I'll get those on the close-up camera. Um, so leafy applique quilt. That's a whole bunch of really funky applique designs. Uh, these were digitized by OESD um, and had to get CAFE's approval. Um, these big florals are really like chunky stitches. They look like hand embroidery. They're phenomenal. Um, line work is a whole bunch of essentially line work. So if you wanted to quilt with these or do like white work designs or red work type feel, that's what you'd use those for. Uh, the cross stitch, super duper cool. A um, couple of these are, like, they look like hand-done cross stitch. They're fantastic. And then elements, which are all, like, cave-themed designs. Let's go back to Chelsea. What else is in that embroidery module box? So much. Oh, there's a, there's a gift card in there. There sure is. I think that's for Embroidery Online or OESD's website. Nice. And the Big Book of Embroidery from Bernina. Uh, Tearaway tape, always useful. Um, some stabilizer rules to get you started, including medium weight tearaway, poly mesh, and fusible woven. And one more. Fuse and fix. Applique Fuse and Fix. That'll be great for those applique designs in that one one design collection. I think Kate got maybe got uh, to pick the thread. Oh, I think so. <laughs> Special like Kafe edition colors. They're pretty. So that'd be 12, 12 threads in there. 
And look at the, like, the box is adorable. The box right. is so adorable. Do you want to set that up this way? I'll find it at home on my table. Sweet. That's a pretty good box. Okay. Next box is the machine box. See, this box is pretty too. <laughs> I can stay out of the way on you. So, um, this cave model will come with the regular assortment of things that our 770s usually come with, um, which includes, you know, thread to get you started when you get home, an extension table, a bunch of styrofoam, bunch of styrofoam to keep everything safe, a uh, knee lift for lifting your presser foot. It's called the Bernina Freehand System. If you're ever wondering what a freehand system is, it's for lifting lifting your presser foot. You use it with your knee. Make friends with it. It's fantastic. Uh, that is the box. Uh, you can I can take care of that one. There's usually things hiding inside the storage garage. Let's see what's in this box. Oh, Chelsea's got a power cord over there. Oh, sure, Let's go through the rest of your layer there. A uh, power cord. Another little box for Mia. Ooh, yes, I can open that one. I also have another little box. Oh, that's the BSR. Sure is. And, and user manual. User manual. Okay. Chelsea, Chelsea regroup over there for a moment. Um, in the storage box, we got a few different things. Oops. Uh, including a screwdriver right here. Beep. That is for your needle screws. If you have trouble uh, loosening and tightening those screws, that's what it's there for. Uh, this little box will have I'm actually going to take all these things out, otherwise I miss things. A uh, needle set. Uh, spool felt. These are for on your vertical spool pin um, to help your thread spin if it's sitting on the vertical spool pin. Three sizes of spool caps. This itty bitty little one. It fits in your cone shaped threads like those ones that are in that uh, embroidery box that we just opened. So three spool kinds of spool caps. A seam guide for the right hand side of your foot. Uh, T20 screwdriver. This is to open things that maybe you don't need to open. Don't worry too much about this one. A little flathead screwdriver, always useful to have. Uh, burning a seam ripper. Uh, this funky little three-piece uh, thing is called the height compensating tool. It is for helping you get over lumpy, bumpy things in your sewing, like hems on jeans. We're starting in a really thick corner of something. And a lint brush so you can keep your machine clean. Um, also hiding in here are more hangers for your presser feet that'll slide into the second side of this little cabinet. So that's what's hiding in this box. In this little box are some of those fantastic presser feet and other useful things. We have the quarter inch Bernina 97D foot, a straight stitch plate that can be used with that quarter inch foot, a stylus in case your fingers are feeling, you know, not like they're working on screen for you, oil to keep your machine lubricated, more of Bernina's jumbo bobbins, they're so big, they're so lovely. 
We have a 20C foot, so this is an open toe uh, decorative stitching foot. Uh, 4D is a zipper foot. And 1D is a zipper foot. No, that's not a zipper foot. What am I doing? That's wrong. This is a regular <laughs> stitch with dual feet. Number one with dual feet. That's what this is for. <laughs> Make a note. Make a note for Tyler. That'll be in the next blooper reel. Leah doesn't know the names of the feet. Put that back in there. Um, the BSR is the Bernina Stitch Regulator. This is your free motion quilting magic laser guided foot. So it will regulate your stitch length for you. And BSRs come with three soles. So there's a regular sole that looks like Bernina's number nine foot. There's an open toe sole that looks like the 24. And there's the clear echo sole, which looks like the number 44 foot. Super duper useful having all those feet um, built right in with that BSR for your stitch regulation. Okay, Chelsea, you ready for the next layer in your box? Oh, yeah. Do you want me to bring the last piece over to you so we can close up it? Uh, yeah, when we're ready. Let me, let me get a couple things cleared off my table. You keep going. Well, I just want to cheat there. Uh, no, you don't. No? No, I don't. No, you don't. Okay. I know from experience. And usually, you don't have to lift those out to get that yeah, other that layer. Was an okay, uh, gotcha. <laughs> You'll, you will. This is exciting. Gotta open it. Can't see how cute it is. Oh, that is the dust cover. Cute? It's color too. I'm trying to make it impossible to get in. Yes, they are. <laughs> Which will also mean it will be impossible for us to get back in the box. Candy, this is our floor model. And it won't have to go back in the box right away. Oh, it's so cute. It's lavender on the sides. <laughs> Nice. I love it. All right, what else? Uh, there should be a buttonhole foot down in the bottom of the box and a foot control. Because those are normally packaged in the bottom styrofoam on the Berninas. I did find something really exciting, Leah. What'd you find? <gasps> Ooh. That is the fabric bundle. These are half yard cuts. Close up. Half yard cuts of uh, kind of Kafe's favorite picks, maybe. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen half yard cuts of fabric in there. That's a lot of fabric. That's sweet. So then you can make something to match your fabulous new K facet machine. A foot pedal? Oh, you're not on that camera. No. no. There. A foot pedal. And that's got the Bernina up down function on the on the foot pedal. Best one there is. I think I only have one thing left, Leah. Nope, I think you have two. I haven't seen a buttonhole foot yet. Normally that's packed in the bottom of the Bernina boxes. In that bottom styrofoam somewhere. Maybe I'll find it after I get this thing out. Maybe. All right, good. Switch it. Are you going to... Okay. I made it a table. Oh, the machine. The Bernina 770. Love it. It's so pretty. It's cute, right? Oh, I have a button hole foot. Perfect. <laughs> that was exciting. And the Bernina button hole foot, which makes, like, the best button holes. In the whole wide world. I might actually... Oh, she was a heavy one to get over there. <laughs> okay. Are you ready for me to change cameras here? Yeah. Sure. I'm just cleaning. 
<laughs> okay, and there she is. Not totally in frame. More so in frame. Um, so this has like a purple faceplate. It is spectacular. Um, when you get a new to you Bernina, um, there's a little bit of blue tape that will need to come off. So you can get into things like the bobbin. There's a little tiny bit of cardboard sitting up near the tension unit that you'll need to take out. And this yellow thing needs to just slide off. Um, it's there for transit. And that's it. And I... How are we doing? We're doing good for time. We're doing good for time. I thought you said it was impossible to get this deck in the back. Uh, Chelsea's a miracle worker. She got that slide on cover, the <laughs> dust cover back in the bag that it came in. I'm going to turn this one on. Sorry. And there's a little bit of styrofoam on the free arm there as well. So as much as it's really hard to take off the, the plastic on new machines, I do recommend you take off your screen covers. Your touch screen will work properly if you take that off. Um, it also ships with a clear film over the stainless steel uh, plate on your free arm. Take that off because the longer you leave it on there, the more likely it is to kind of glue itself to your machine, which is not what we want. And then when you open this, uh, you get to pick the language you'd like to have your machine operating in. And peel this off. And then let's go let's go digging on the machine just just a little smidge. Um, there is a extra folder of decorative stitches on this machine. Special edition cape stitches right here. So these are really cu funky custom florals designed by Kaif. All sorts of funky stitches in there. Florals, some cups, some fruit, some geometrics, whole bunch of stitches there. The other magic will be hiding in the embroidery module side. And there is some piece blocks in there, which are cool. And then there's a folder of cave designs. So these are some of those designs that are uh, featured on the CDs in the box. Big florals. Some of the line work. More of the line work. More of the line work. Oh, there's, those are cool. There is a super phenomenal cross stitch design that's stitched in four parts that is like an entire pillow worth of uh, adorable cat. It is a, yeah, and this will work in the new medium clamp hoop. The, the kitty cat's adorable. We should stitch it up. Can we please? Maybe. I, I can use a kitty cat. <laughs> so could my kids, I'm sure. And there's some big cross stitch florals. With the whole cross stitch background. Uh, these are a little, they're, they're big designs and a really cool floral. So those are some of the designs that are built into the machine. Along with all the other great designs that already ship on 770s. Okay, let's go back to Chelsea. What have we got now? You got another box? <laughs> I do. Okay. It's, it's like they just appear. They just appear. This one's um, my machine box. No, we just did the machine. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to use it as a table. Oh, okay. So we can see how pretty this is. Okay. Uh, so this that Chelsea's opening now is the machine bag box. And based on what I know was coming with this machine, I don't think there's going to be extra treasures inside this box. Just, just the super pretty suitcase. I think it doesn't feel as heavy as the other one. It was, the other one was surprisingly heavy, wasn't it? <laughs> it sure was. It definitely got me. Oh. Unboxings always take like half the room we have. <laughs> Which is fine. <laughs> that has worked pretty well though. Right? 
It's such a pretty bag. It's gorgeous. Should we peek and see if there's extras? Yeah, for sure. I don't think there is. Based on what the gift with purchase was with this machine, I think we found it all. Oh, much storage. And it opens all the way for easy machine insertion. That is nice. Look at all that protection. Yeah, it's fantastic. Look at That's all you got. Oh, it's awesome. More couches. I know. There's there's pockets. There there's pockets actually? everywhere. So many pockets. When I unpack my suitcase from a class, I always have to open every pocket because I'm like, oh, I will totally remember which pocket I put all the things in. And then I don't. But these ones are clear, so you wouldn't have to worry about that. I know, but usually I take more stuff with me when I go to classes. Or when I take my machine on holidays. They're mesh. That's okay. There's cool pockets. So there's a few more of these available from us. They're not quite here yet. The first people who pre-ordered have been called. And if you would like to be one of a very small number of people in, in our area with one of these gorgeous machines, um, I wouldn't wait to make up your mind on it. Because <laughs> now that they're here and everybody can see them, they're going to know just how scrumptious they are. Um, are you going to come join me back here, Charles? Sure. <laughs> the light bar got in the way. I wonder oh, why. Uh, we moved everything around to, to get our sign hung for today. Uh, but that's all good. Thanks for doing the unboxing. That was fun. Can I do it again tomorrow? Yeah, there's another K facet. <laughs> it's, it's a different color. I know what color it is. It's adorable. It's going to be so cute. Um, and if you're like a huge K fan, you could get both. Just saying you could use the little one as your travel machine and the main one as your embroidery machine. Or sew on the little one and embroider on the big one. Wouldn't that be fantastic? And then also come for classes with both of them. Right? <laughs> we won't judge. <laughs> or do classes on Zoom if you don't want to haul both. True. This guy is a little heavy. Yeah. But I can manage. Not pretty. Yeah. And pretty you've got small. a great suitcase with it too. Oh, Gosh, the ease of having the front opening on that suitcase is right. going to be a game changer. Right. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, I don't know if anybody else is in the Calgary area. We had like a drastic shift in how our weather felt today. <laughs> I apologize. Yeah. I blame my kid who said the S word. <laughs> yeah, there so might... We, we found warm, cozy fabrics. We sure did. So polar we fleece. got a whole bunch of new polar fleece in mm -hmm. stock. Um, Chelsea's been talking about all the things she needs to make for her tiny little dog who has no fur. He might need a polar fleece hoodie. Would he wear plaid or would you put him in the, like the leopard print? I think I'd put him in the leopard print because we had a hawk swoop our yard this week trying to kill him. So leopard print, make him fierce. <laughs> Nobody's going to get him. <laughs> I don't think he's a fierce dog, but yeah, go for it. You can try. You haven't met him yet. I have he's, not met him. He's pretty fierce. He's pretty fierce. Okay. <laughs> he thinks he is. He thinks he is. Um, other things coming up uh, around the store besides unboxing our cave facet machines. Um, I post, put a whole bunch of our floor models on sale as of kind of yesterday. Um, so specifically, I had new special edition machines coming in. So our crystal edition Berninas need to go find their forever homes they also have amazing bundles with them they do. um so if if a purple machine does not bring you joy perhaps the really sleek um swarovski still can't swarovski still can't say that word it's, <laughs> it's a hard word i can't do it i have to say it slow <laughs> <laughs> i can't do it um it's it's got crystals on it it's black and silver it's really crisp and tidy um if that's more your style it's got a great package with it those floor models on the 590 790 and 880 uh, need to find their homes so these ones can come play with me please come adopt uh, we have a couple brother machines <laughs> that uh, i have floor models of as well 
mm -hmm. um, with the changeover and brothers lineup. So there's great pricing on floor models, kind of both sides of the room right now. Yeah, I think one of them's the 3050. Yeah. And that has that laser guide line. Yeah, and it's got like an it's cool. like it's a massive throat on that machine. Oh my gosh, imagine how much free motion you could do on that machine. And it's got the move at foot. Oh yeah. So it's it's a sweet setup. Good for making bags probably. Or quilts or coats. Polar fleece. Puppy coats. Puppy coats. <laughs> I'm not allowed to dress my dog. <laughs> She's a northern dog. She's got enough fur. <laughs> I dress my dog because it's cute and functional. Yeah, my dog is in like a Yukon mutt breed. Our dogs would not be friends. No. I don't think. No, I don't think One so. of them wants to be in Mexico, sun tanning. <laughs> and, and mine is like, okay, I'll go lay in that snowbank. That looks like fun. <laughs> <laughs> she gets ridiculous when the S word happens. That's adorable. Yeah, that's her favorite. Hates the rain, though. She gets wet. She needs a rain jacket. We have coated cotton. We do. I'm not making my daughter a rain jacket. She's survived 12 years of that one. But but she doesn't like being wet. Yeah, she just will avoid going outside. Nah, I think we make her a cape. I don't cotton. think she'll realize that that will solve the problem. She's stubborn and old. <laughs> well, you get to work with coated cotton, so it'll be fun for you. <laughs> Ooh, there's a good question on the chat. Where would you like to post pictures? If you were playing along with our viewers challenge and you would like to share photos, we have a Facebook group um, that you can join and we'll post a link to that group um, in the comment just below you there, Joanne. Um, so you can post your photos of your uh, viewers challenge projects in there, mm -hmm. um, which would be make something that can be worn before October 31st, like cape fascinator um costume for your dog or your cat cat ears cat ears make something maybe a whole costume i don't know what you're up to you could do it on your new cave machine you could they need to be pet they're so, so beautiful they're so pretty <laughs> <laughs> um so you could uh, post those there if you're having trouble finding the group you're also able to email those photos to social at my sewing room.ca and then our social media girl, Ashley, will get them shared out to the world. She sure will. Because she loves getting customer photos. It's our favorite thing. We love seeing what happens to the fabric and the machines when they leave here. Mm -hmm. It's always sad when, when beautiful fabric leaves and we never know if it turns into anything. So we like to see what you made. I adore it. I love getting called to the front to take photos. It's the favorite part of my day. Other right? than getting to see everybody, of course. Yeah, but getting right. to see stuff that's made is, it, it. it brings me joy. I love it. Yeah. And as a teacher, knowing that you guys learn something along the way, um, yeah. you're like, I learned something today. I learned how to do this from one of your videos. It just makes us. It makes my heart sing. Oh, God. It's yeah. the best job. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> speaking of classes, um, next week we have a couple spaces left in our Kimberbell North Pole tier tray. Two spaces. Um, if you have looked at embroidery and thought, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. How about you sign up for that event? We have floor models that we could put you on. You could come do the event with us here in store and decide if embroidery is for you. Yeah. Totally an option. Or, you know, what if you're not close by, um, we can get your kit out to you and you can do it virtually. Or even if you are close by, but you like being at home in your PJs. We get it. Join us on Zoom. Either way. Kids are ready to go. And we'd love to have you join us for that. We sure would. Um, coming up uh, middle of middle end-ish of November 24th. 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 Uh, we have three classes running over two days uh, on intro to embroidery. So if you're in that group of people who bought a machine um, mid-pandemic and you haven't had classes and you're nervous to use your embroidery module, we've got like very very basic beginner technique classes for you. Um, the first one is uh, freestanding lace, which freestanding lace is fantastically fun and fits in Christmas cards if you want to mail things out. It's a great gift. Um, and then we've got intro to applique and intro to um, unusual objects and perfect placement, which if you're like, well, I'd love to give hand towels for Christmas with everybody's names on them, but I don't know how to get the names straight. That third class is happening on November 25th. It's for you. 
and in December we're running a quilt as you go tree skirt class. So this is for our people who don't embroider. We have a class for you. Sure. Um, so the quilt as you go tree skirt is a June Taylor pattern. It comes with a marked batting. Super easy to put together. Um, we'll talk about all the ways to jazz it up and make it unique. And talk about things like bias binding. So you can have a binding on a skirt, tree skirt. <laughs> And it's and not hard. Not have a wrinkle? Not have a wrinkle. Mm. I'm down. Yeah. I don't know how to do that yet. We'll get you there. I'll learn. Yeah. I love it. Um, so that's happening December 1st and 8th. And then December 9th, uh, one more Kimberbell embroidery event before Christmas. Um, but it's two tiny little adorable projects that would be great gifts for, like, my 11-year-old would be all over both of them. Honestly, my mom would love one. So maybe one for a niece and one for a grandma. Two projects done. Two yeah. little Christmas presents. Stocking stoppers. Giveaway for a uh, work colleague. Um, little zipper pouch made entirely in the embroidery hoop. As well as a little clasp change purse. Okay, so and that cute. event is called Vintage Flora. Um, the event itself is retiring from Kimberbell early next year. Mid, mid next year. When they run out of kits. And so this is our last chance to run it. So if you want in on the fun. And some last minute Christmas gifts made. You could join us for that. Yeah. And you can hang out in store with us. You could join us in store for that too. I'm probably going to wear ugly Christmas sweaters for all of the Kimber events for the rest of the year. Me too. Okay, deal. Deal. I might need more sweaters. I think I do too. People will notice if we wear the same one every day, won't they? Probably. Okay. Maybe we should make some. Maybe. I've got an embroidery machine at home. I'm unstoppable. <laughs> Yeah, I have. But my current, the... my current favorite Christmas sweater, uh, can hold an entire bottle of wine if I need it to. But you know, we have access to a scanning cut. Also true. And heat transfer vinyl. Also true. There's glittery heat transfer. I vinyl. know. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. <laughs> Can't wait to see what you make for next week. Um. So yeah, that was unboxing our K Facet 770 edition. It was fun. If you have questions, uh, get in touch. Come see us in store. Uh, this floor model will be out to look at tomorrow. And we'll unbox the other one tomorrow afternoon. Pretty. And I like as much as this one is like amazingly beautiful. The other one is so cute. And it's so original. Yeah. I just. It's scrumptious. I love it. Yep. Yeah, it's scrumptious. It's also my favorite color. You know what? It's not my favorite color. I totally want it. <laughs> I've been cut off at mach for machines, though. I'm not allowed to have any more. Who said that? My husband. We made a deal. We sneak it in? We share an office. It'd be really hard to sneak a machine into my house. <laughs> we leave it at my house. That sounds like you get the machine. <laughs> It does. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> that seems like something that might work for I'm you not, and not for me. I'm not far away from you. You can come over and sew and hang out with my puppy. I know. You go to bed earlier than when I start sewing. I though. know you do. I start sewing late at night. I like go to bed early. I get up in the early. morning and sew early. Yeah, I've not figured that out. My bed is too comfy in the morning to get up. We're very opposite people, aren't we? Yeah. It takes all types. It does. So. But we have a fun time. Yeah. Thanks for joining us today, everybody. Oh, yes. Our classes are posted uh, online. Classes are on the website. They're on the calendar. Um, there's not a lot of details on all of them yet. I'll get to that tomorrow. We'll get there. But the dates and the t prices are on there. And the times. Mm -hmm. the, the most important stuff is there. <laughs> the details.